um, growing school district, long LDS tradition, yet also the um, the wide open gaming. And in the early days, we did have prostitution right in city limits. Um, it may not have been allowed, but it was tolerated. It, it may not have been legally authorized, but it was tolerated for many years. Um, the federal um, people who were setting up Nellis um, asked the community to crack down on it, though, because um, they had, I've seen the documents um, showing that the men who were stationed at the gunnery field had higher rates of venereal disease than mm -hmm. at other comparable bases. Because of, well, and in fact, one of the little um, stories you tell is about the young children going in the district yes. and how the, the prostitutes would come out and give them candy and licorice and they yes. were just delightful and they thought they were wonderful women. Yes, uh, the town as it was originally structured by the railroad, there was supposed to be one block where drinking was allowed and that was block 16 and those step although drinking did spread throughout the town because if you had a hotel you could have drinking so some stores would put in one bed to be able to call themselves a hotel so they could sell Two booze but um, block 16 which had all the saloons is where the girls um, were located well I want to thank you again for joining me and telling me about this book it was a wonderful story uh, I hope everyone enjoys it thank you so much for joining me on the KLVX TV book club